In order to create your first battle like you see here, it is required that you download the following programs. The Halo Custom Edition game which will require a product key from the PC version of Combat Evolved which you can purchase online or by obtaining it through other means. The 1.0.10 update, the Custom Edition version. The Halo Editing Kit, which includes all the original game development software that Bungie created and used to make the original game. The .NET Framework version 1.1, which is required to install the Halo Editing Kit Plus, which is a third party program mainly used to extract tags. You will also need a few of the original campaign map files so you can extract the Marine and Covenant tags to use as the participants in our battle. The links for the campaign map files will be in the description below. Once you have downloaded and extracted them, Place them in the Maps folder in the Halo C root directory. Okay, first things first. Find the desktop icon of the Halo Editing Kit Plus. Click on it and click Properties. Under the Compatibility tab, click this checkbox. And then this one. Click Apply and then OK. Once opened, click on File, then Open. Navigate to the Halo CE root directory in the folder Maps. Open the file named Death Island. We are going to extract the tags from this level, which includes the .scenario file, which we can open in the level editor Sapien to edit the world and create the battle. Right click here and click Select All. Right click again and click Add to Extraction Queue. In the Extraction Queue, right click and click Check All. Uncheck Save Extracted Tag List and click Start. To make things a bit easier in the future, right click on Tools and click on Options. Under Folders, click on the three dotted lines and select the Maps folder in the Halo Custom Edition root directory. Click Apply and then OK. Now we open up the level A30, which is the level Halo in the main game and we repeat the same procedure as we did before. In the root directory of Halo Custom Edition, open up Sapien. Navigate to the folder Death Island and open Scenario. Once Sapien opens, minimize the first two windows and then rearrange the remaining windows to your liking. Inside the game window, click and hold the middle mouse button and move the mouse to look around. The WASD keys are for moving forward, left, back and right. Press R to move up, press F to move down, press Shift to increase speed in which you can traverse the level. Find a suitable spot for your battle to take place. Once you have done so, in the player starting points folder, delete all points and place one nearby. In the Properties palette, under Type 0, select All Games. Under the AI folder, click on Encounters, and click on New Instance twice. Name the encounters anything you like. Click on Not Initially Created if you don't want your AI to spawn immediately upon the map opening. And click on Respawn Enabled. The Team Index is for how an encounter will react towards other encounters and the player, and how other encounters will act towards it. For example, if one encounter is set to default by unit, it will be apathetic towards the player and any other encounter also set to default by unit. However, if the encounter is set to anything else, it will be hostile towards the player and any other encounter. In this instance, I'll choose for the first encounter, which will be the Marines, as default by unit. The second encounter, I will repeat the procedure, this time setting the team index as Covenant. Press the plus icon next to your first encounter and press on Squads. Click on New Instance, now click on Edit Types, change the Object Class to Actor Variant, and navigate towards the Characters folder to select the participants of the battle. In my case, I'm going to select the Marine Armoured Assault Rifle Actor Variant and the Grunt Needler Actor Variant. Click on Done and then OK. Select the Squad Block and rename it to anything you want. Under Actor Type, select 
the actor variant of your choosing. Set the initial state and return state to moving loop back and forth. Select automatic migration. I'm going to choose the unique leader type to be Sergeant Johnson. I usually set the normal diff count and insane diff count to 4 and 6 respectively. I'm going to set the respawn minimum actors to 4 and the respawn max, act max actors to 5, which will be how many actors will spawn initially and respawn after. Because we set our actors to move around, we will add starting and moving locations onto the map by clicking the right mouse button. We will now apply some firing positions for the AI. Repeat the following procedures for the second encounter. Save and name the map and we will proceed to compile the map. Inside this PC, search for CMD. Copy and paste it inside your Halo CE root directory. Open it and run this command. I named my map test, so at the end of the command, that's what I'll put. The command from levels onwards is the directory in which your scenario is located. Press enter and once compiled we can now play the map. Before that though, if you check the box not initially created in the setting of the encounter, you will need to right click on the Halo CE program, click properties, in target at the end press space and then type in hyphen console. Click apply then ok. Once the game is open, click on multiplayer select LAN, select your map and press start game. If you selected the setting not initially created, your AI will not spawn upon opening the map. Press the tilde key and type in AI place. Press space and type in the name of your encounter. In my case I named it 1. Repeat the same procedure with any other encounter you created with the setting checked and there you have it, you have an AI battle. In addition, if you would like to change the weapons the actors are holding, Open up Gorilla, which is inside the Halo CE root directory. Open up your actor variant file that you wish to edit. Under ranged combat, click the three dotted lines and navigate to the weapons folder. Choose the dot weapon file of the weapon you would like to use. You can obtain more weapons by extracting the tags from various maps. Click save as and rename the file reflecting the weapon change.